let me just tell you well welcome for one thing and let me just tell you i just about had a catastrophe i walked back here and knocked about three things over but we're all good we're all good we're all okay hello i see emma is here i just was making sure that she is here hi hi tammy tidbits hi karen hi peterson oh you're at work Blech. Hello friends, welcome to Green Wednesday. Green Wednesday. Everything that I'm going to be selling today is of a green theme. Now, that could be for St. Patrick's Day. It could be for, you know, just because you like green. Hi Stephanie. Hi Baker's Daughters. Hi Tina. Hello everyone. I have, Emma was a little upset with me because I, you know, I said, I'm going to start just not selling as many thing, things on Wednesday because it's a little hard on myself. And I said, I'm just going to do like 40 things during my Wednesday sales. Well, that's a big fat lie because I'm doing 65 things today. Okay? 65 things today. So Emma, I'm sorry, but it, it is what it is. You know, when I'm pulling things, I'm like, oh, well, this is green. Oh, this is green. Oh, this is green. And then I end up with green with 65 green things so that's where we're at today so we're, we're, we're gonna do this hi rebecca hi friend Teresa. hello 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 okay i have my starbucks i today's choice was a caramel uh iced caramel macchiato upside down which is a little trick that michelle comfy cozy told me i didn't know about this apparently jamie Mid-Century Wasted has known about this as well. If you ask for it upside down, it means it sh they shake it. Hi, Randy girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, caramel macchiato upside down. Iced, because I don't drink hot coffee. I drink cold coffee. Okay. Are you ready? We should probably go ahead and get started. I'll, I'll explain the way that this works. And what happens is I have an item. Everything here has a number. It is upside down is the trick. Yeah. Um, it's sort of like, yeah, shaken and not stirred. We're sort of like James Bond. You know, shaken and not stirred, but upside down. Which is, a, upside down is a pretty good analogy for me in, in, in general anyway. Okay, so the way that this works is I have 65 items. Everything has a number on it. I'm going to hold up the item. I'll show you the item talk about the item, and then I will tell you the price of the item and tell you the number. And the first person in the chat to uh, type in that number will, will win that item. And all you'll need to do is send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and let me know your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address and your PayPal email. I only accept PayPal as a form of payment. It's very easy to go on PayPal and create an account. You can link your credit card, your debit card, and you know, it, it'll, it's a nice secure way to pay for your item. Uh, so make sure that you do that. Also, I ask, I do have some offer up things as well. And what that can, what that means is, I will hold up an item and I will give a starting price and you will continue, you can put in your offers. And once it's, once you are, you've met your max, if you will just kindly just type in capital letters out and then we know that you're done and we can keep track of who gets the next order, ne the next offer. And then when it starts slowing down, I will start counting down from three. And then the last person standing will be able to win that that um, that op that object. If you are going to participate in the offer ups, make sure that you register. You can send me a register registration right now. Go to thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and just send me your actual name, your U your YouTube name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email, and you're good to go. That's all you got to do. It's easy peasy. Um, I do ask that. Oh, I will be working on invoices. That's one thing I wanted to say is I will be working on invoices on Friday and Saturday, maybe probably a little bit tomorrow afternoon. But guys, look at these roots. I've, I've, I've delayed my hair getting colored for too long. 
And I'm getting it colored tomorrow. And I'm staying blonde, so have no fear. I'm staying blonde, but I, you know, there's trees growing from these roots. So um, I go tomorrow morning to get my hair colored. So I'll, and when I go in, this is what I do. I don't even dry my hair every day. I come with it wet. And when I go get my hair colored, she knows. Jessica, I don't know if you're watching, but she knows. I'm like, no, don't style my hair. I'm just going to go to work and I'll let it air dry. So I will come to work with wet hair tomorrow because I don't have time to sit and have her style it. Um, my email is thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. It's basically where you're at, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. No alcoholic beverages today. No, not today. <laughs> Not in the sale today. Hi, Virginia. Yes, please hit the thumbs ups. We have 238 people watching and 86 thumbs ups. Let's get that up there. Um, yeah, if you've already bought something from me before or already pre-registered, you don't have to send me another um, email. If you're kind of like, did I? Did I send her one? Then go ahead and send me one, you know. Um, also, Rebecca is, is very good at helping and reminding during the sales, during when I'm doing an offer up, if we could keep the chat just to a minimum, it just helps kind of clear up the screen to be able to move on. Because like I said, I got 65 items and we want to kind of go kind of fast. So, um, but any any other time, you guys just talk, 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 talk away. Um, and it's, it help, it's helpful if you, if you um, put your out in all capital letters too, or if you have a question in all capital letters it just helps me helps me able to see be able to see it okay oh i oh i'm gonna do a giveaway if we don't want to over right right rebecca i'm gonna do a giveaway today and it's a good one it's a good one first of all i got my m brooch on that was sent to me by a sweet friend and i'm giving away a thrifter junker vintage hunter sticker I do have these available. They're $4. If you want one, you can send me a message and let me know that you want one. They're nice. They, they're they dishwasher safe. I put them mine on my cups and stuff. So this, but, ooh, a shamrock shake. Yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it? Sorry, squirrel. Um, the giveaway today, and I might regret this because I got heavy things today, is free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Whoever wins the giveaway today, which all that means is that if you've bought, purchased something, I'll put the numbers back into my bucket and I will draw. And whoever will win will get free shipping. It's probably going to be someone that's got a big old heavy box of glassware that's going to California. It's going to be expensive. That's okay. Hey, Steve. All right. Are we ready? Let's go. Okay, I got my bucket full of happiness of fun stickers that have been sent to me by other resellers. Sticker mules where I get all my stickers made. If you're interested in a sticker in, or having stickers made, you can go to my community page and you can get a $10 off coupon for sticker mule. I do have a code. All right, you know what? We're gonna start off with a bang. We're doing a, an offer up and it is this duck paint by number and you might be asking misty that's not green but it has a green hue to it um now there is some damage to this paint by number right here you can see it on the front and on the back so it is a mallard duck now this frame if you want the frame i will send you the frame if you just want the canvas and it'll save on shipping then I can take it out of the canvas and ship it that way. There's no glass on here. So if you purchase the, this, then, you know, just let me know. You're right, Stephanie. Mallards do have green heads. All right. So we are starting this at $15. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca, if I for, am like going off on a talking tangent before I do an offer up. Oh, and Emma, this number is number 14. That number means nothing to you guys, but it means something to Emma. So we're starting the offer ups at $15 for the vintage paint by number Mallard duck. We've got the mama duck and the baby duck. And we've got this little bit of cracking right here on the canvas. But it still is a very nice piece. I feel like I'm so far away from the camera. I mean, I know I'm not, but I kind of feel like I am. And someone may, you all may not want this because of the damage. 
And if, and if, if it's too early, I can come back to it later. But we are starting this at $15. $15 going once. $15 going twice. And sold to nobody. We'll come back to it later. Hi, Barb. You feel like you painted the same one as a kid? I'm going to assume that it was probably painted in the 60s, I'm going to say. So we're going to come back to that. The green heads are both males. Well, Peter, you just know, you know all the facts. Oh, yeah, that's a great, that's a great uh, um, thing too, Rebecca. Make sure that you are on live chat and not top chat. All right, we will come back to the ducks. You did too? Well, what, that must have been a, a popular pattern back in the day. All right, here we go. Angela, you can get a PayPal right now. All you got to do is go on there and sign up. All right, next I have this. I moved things around a little bit, but it is the Prixie or Pixie, the Pixie Log Planter. Look at that. I put my little succulent helper in there, but I'll take him out just so you can see it a little bit better. Thank you, Lottie. So now the cold paint on this little Pixie is coming off a little bit. But it's still, it's still, and sometimes you find these in the greens all the way gone. But isn't this cute? No chips or flaws on him. Hi, Sam. Doing dishes. That's all right. I got to do dishes. I didn't do anything. My house is a mess. I went, I pretty much went to bed. Wasn't feeling that great. Went to bed. Um, this little guy is $20. And he is number 17. $20, number 17. For the Pixie Log Planter. Sammy! Ooh, or Sarah. Is Sarah going to make an assemblage with that? I know that's Sarah's favorite word, isn't it? She doesn't. It sounds too fancy. But thank you so much. Sold to thrift you. All right. I don't care. I... Rebecca, you might have to answer that question. I always, I never remember. I never remember if it's better to have the 720p or the 480p. Hi, Charlotte. Okay, next. Oh, I have three of these. So the first three people if that are interested in these, um, when, once I give you the number, if you're interested in one of these, then the first three People that type in the numbers will get one. They are all exactly the same. They, I believe they're Ellie Smith, Daisy and Buttons. I could be wrong. You know, I don't know patterns. But these little top hats. And, I mean, they're, they're top hats. No, I think these are Indiana glass. I sold the white milk glass one, and it was Indiana glass. So it could be an Indiana glass. But they're all three. I'll show you. They're all three exactly the same. They're all the same size, so it, they're all the same. So, these are $16 each, and also these would these are really cute. You could put flowers in them or, you know, a little succulent in those as well. $16 each, and the first three people that type in the number 13 will be able to purchase one of these green glass top hats. Very cute for spring or, you know, St. Patrick's Day or even Easter. Okay, so I'm going to give Emma a few minutes, but I am seeing um, Andra K and Ellie A. And Ellie, I saw that you had sent me some e I haven't checked my emails at all, at all yesterday. At all. So I know, I know that Ellie, you, you had sent me a couple emails and I checked a few, but not, not a lot. So I will be checking those this evening. Hi, Miss Pamela. Oh no, I'm, am I buffering? Belinda. Every time I'm buffering, it makes me nervous and I gotta take a drink. Okay, Virginia. Yes, you hear that? Randy's in charge. Virginia, Virginia, Virginia put you in charge, Randy. When she gets back, there better be 300 thumbs up. So hit the thumbs ups. Okay, am I buffering? 
I hope not. Okay, better now. What's in that coffee that calms you? It's not booze. It's not booze. It's coffee. <laughs> it's caffeine. All right, next I have, ooh, this is a fun thing. Now, this is just a plastic. It's not glass or anything fancy smancy, but it's a little St. Patrick's Day brooch, the little three-leaf clover, and a little pipe. A little pipe, because leprechauns use pipes, apparently. I mean, you see them with pipes all the time. There's no maker's mark on this at all. This St. Patrick's Day brooch is $10, and it is number... 43. Yeah, Randy's going to put you in timeout. Virginia's going to put Randy in timeout if you guys don't get 300 thumbs up by the time she's back. Okay, I see Shirley Pearl. Oh gosh, Angel, let's not do that because it buffers so much that we'll all be drunk. Well, I mean, I won't be because I'm not drinking any booze, but it buffers so much that we might all be drunk by the time that the sale is over. Okay, can I put this in something else? I won't put it in that. All right. Are we ready? Oh, oh, and Randy Girl likes her moon and star, and I have a lot of it today. The first, this is an offer up, and Emma, this is number 42. This is number 42, Emma. Can you repeat who got the hats aloud? I was buffering. Well, that means I'll have to go back. The hats were, boop, 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 boop. Okay, the hats were Shirley Pearl, Sandra K, and Ellie A. Thank you, thank you, Rebecca. Oh, Marianne. My dad goes tomorrow to get his second shot, his second one which I heard is kind of the, the one that's a little rough. And Dallas had the wrong number in. She had 313. And I hate that, but I have to I have to stick with that or you know, it'll happen again and someone will get mad. So I'm sorry, Ann. Yeah. People were confused. Well, people if you're confused, this is welcome to my mind on a daily basis. I know. I thank you, Anne, for being so understanding. Okay. Hey, Joelle. Well, I have this cute little moon and star half basket. Now, Randy Girl may know the proper name for this. I don't know. But, thank you, Annie. But, this is like a little halfy basket, is what I call it. And it's, uh, I think this is a moon and star. No chips or flaws on it anywhere. And this, oh, this is an offer up. I'm going to start it at $10. $10 for the green. Now, how cute would this be? You know, you could put some succulents in it. Ah, you're too big. You're too big. Let's put you in there. You're a little smaller. That's too, still too big. But even some pink flowers, I mean, you can expand this out and use it. You can use it at Christmas time. You can use it at Easter, St. Patrick's Day. Hi, Christy. All right, I'm seeing Norma Jacob at $18. Norma Jacob is at $18. Oh, Lana's in Michigan. I'm a Michigan girl at heart. Sandra is at $20. It's just called a basket, Randy says. Thank you, Randy girl. That's, I can deal with that. It's just a basket. I call it a halfy basket. A halfy handle basket. See, I even said, I even said it was a half basket on my notes. All right, thank you. If you've typed it out, thank you so much. Sandra K is at $23. Oh, Petoskey. Petoskey stones. That's what I think of when I, I always look for Petoskey stones when I'm walking along the shores of Lake Michigan that you can't find them very much anymore. Thank you, Norma. Norma typed in out. So Sandra K is at $23. Beverly's out. Thank you, Beverly. So Susan's still in, but it's at $23 is the offer to beat. 
I was scheduled for March 2nd. Oh my, shingles. <gasps> yeah, you can't find Petoskey stones anymore. All right, Susan is at $25. Is that right? Yeah, $25. I do too. It's like an emerald green. I know I've been looking at all this green all together and it's it's so pretty all together. And Rain Girl's got a whole big whole collection of uh, moon and star and it, it's beautiful. All right, Susan is at $25. I'm going to start counting down. $25 going once. $25 going twice and sold to Sandra K for $25. Thank you. Oh, you don't have shingles. You got the shot. Ah. I haven't had shingles before, but I've known people that have had it and it's miserable. Miserable. Three and white small vase. All right, a lot of these little small vases um, came from my window ledge because I've kind I'm kind of doing a different vessels for my air plants, but I liked this one because I like that seafoam green color and it's got some gold speckles on it and this design. It's made in Japan. It doesn't say that it's made in Japan, but it's made in Japan. It does have a little okay, you can see on this it's got one, two, three little spiky things at the top. In the back, one of those little spikies is chipped off. And on the back side, it just has this embossed design. This is $6 and it's number 63. Hi, Tracy, welcome. $6, number 63 for the little air plant, which is, I mean, it's just a little bud base, but it's, to me, it's an air plant base. Number 63. Oh, I see Maria. Maria, thank you, Miss Maria. I appreciate it. No, I don't think that the shots hurt, especially the first one. I have just heard that the second one can make can make you feel feel a little sick. Sort of like, you know, when you'd get the flu shot and you kind of would feel a little sick from that. Sort of the same thing, but it's st still better than the alternative. Okay, this book is something that I've recently picked up and I left this part on because I wanted to show you if you sell books in an antique mall, that this is what you can do. You can put a little, a little string in your book, like on the front cover, see? And then you could just hang your tag from that string and then you don't have to put tape you don't have to put tape on your pretty book. We're, I'm going to do this book as an offer up and I'm starting it at $15. Emma, it is number 12. But this is a book. Look at the little Scotty dog. It's all around us. It's a Scott Forsman and Company book. So it is a, um, it's a school book. The cool thing on the inside of this is, well, this is book B. It's Basic Studies in Science. And it is dated 1940, nope, 1951 is the last copyright date. But it's all pictures. It's all pictures. Look, the Fox family. Oh, look at the little babies. But look at the pictures in here. So yeah, we're starting this at $15. And we've got the bird, the birds and the bees. Ooh, there's a grasshopper. No, we're going to turn that page. This page right here has a little tear at the end. And we've got kitties and bunnies and puppies. And a caterpillar. And the life, the life uh, cycle of a, well, both a caterpillar and a frog. But why? Why do you look at the, why do you look out the window at the thermometer? Why should you wear a coat? Well, why, if the thermometer is this this temperature, do you need to put more coal in your coal oven? That's not what that's called, your coal thing. 
So this is, it's a discussion book. Look at the cloud or the car. All right, where are we at? We're at $16, right? I really like this book. I love the pictures in here. Do plants need light? It's basically like science experiments, but via pictures. A surprise, a day for ducks. All right, so I'm gonna start counting down. Ooh, well, look at there. All right, Mary is at $21. Machines and animal muscles. Look at the barber shop down there. All right, Midsoon Through Wasted is out. I'm going to start counting down. I think that I saw Reclaim, Reclaim Treasures by Mary. $21 going once. $21 going twice. And sold to Reclaimed Treasures by Mary for $25. Oh, no, Val, you're here right on time. I've barely gotten started. You are good. Good, good, good. Oh, and also just know if you do buy something from me that qualifies as media mail, that's the way that I will ship it. All right, I really love this for several reasons. I just think that it's neat. And you can do several different things with this as well. But it's a wooden, it's made from wood. It's a cutlery tray. And, I mean, you can use this for a cutlery tray. You know, your, your spoons, forks, and knives, and then your whatnot up there, like your... I think of like your, your spreaders or your corn cob holders. It's made, like I said, out of wood. You could also hang this on your wall and make it into a shelf. I loved, I love the green on there. It's got kind of like this tongue and groove um, corners on it. I really like this a lot. You have two of these in this color. Yeah, I had one in red and it had really neat art deco um, lines on it. It does have a little paint drip right there. Hi, Saturn girl. Hi, hi Perla. But this is 30, no, it's, it's $21 and it's number 39. It's pretty lightweight. $21, number 39. I see Michelle, Newton's covered. You got it. Yeah, and it's neat if you have a couple of these, it, it would be neat to hang a couple of them on the wall. And then, you know, you can put your little, your little pretties in it. Your, or your air plants. Put your air plants on it. You can put your little animal figurines. Hi, Thor fan. Oh, was I frozen? Ah. All right, now I have a little moon and star toothpick holder, but you could use it for toothpicks, but you could also use it for an air plant or a succulent or a little votive candle. Really pretty, no chips or flaws on it. It's the moon and star pattern. This is $15 and it's number 45. Oh, what number was the book? Emma, it was number 12. It was number 12. But this is number 45, and it's $15. Oh, the half, the half basket went to Susan, not Sandra. Okay, Susan K. Make sure that you have that, Emma. Katie, I have you for number 45. Katie Goodale. Moon and star, very saturated colors. Alrighty. Are we all, are we all okay? Thank you, Sherry. Emma, are you okay? Hi, Lynn. Alrighty. Susan Frank, not, Su not Susan K. Emma, do you have that? I'm sorry, Sandras and Susans. <laughs> Hi from Maine. I want to go to Maine. So beautiful up there. Well, if you guys still like Moon and Star, I have another one. I have another one. I have this really fun 
bulbous, that's a fun word to say, bulbous candy dish. It's in excellent condition, no chips or cracks. Oh, isn't that a great sound? It's a little candy dish. It's bulbous. And this is going to be an offer up. See, I, I did it again. Emma, this is number 44. This is number 44, but we're doing an offer up. And I'm going to start this at $15 as well. So we're starting this at $15 for the Moon and Star Bulbous. Hi, hi, Nicole. Bulbous candy jar. I think I saw 20. Who had 20? Katie, Katie Goodale, Katie Goodale. Oh, Tina Hendricks is at 21. Covered compote. It's a bulbous covered compote. So, but you can keep candy in it and, and, and jewelry. It's a covered compote. The bottom of it kind of looks like the bottom of a fairy lamp, but it's not. It's got a lid. All right, Patricia, no, Shirley Pearl is at $33. You could keep your pins in it, like your little brooches. You could keep your, well, cotton balls in. I don't think I'd use it. I it, It's too pretty to, to keep your cotton balls in. It's It, it deserves a little bit more, more uh, important things to hold than that. Okay, I see Patricia, no. Tammy is out. Sandra K is at $35. You could put lights in it. I have my lights and my two other things over there. Well, Michelle, you could put condoms in it. It's a fancy condom holder. You could. Katie Goodell's at 37. But Katie wouldn't do that, would you, Katie? Katie would put something nice in it. You could keep it at your bedside. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Lemon drops. Yes. Oh, Beth, that's so funny. She always said she always hated the sound of the lid because grandma could tell that she was getting candy. Then you just have to be real quiet and do it. Yeah, just not used. Yeah, those go in the trash can. All right, so I see Patricia Sandoval at $40. This is beautiful for, it is beautiful for Christmas. Um, you know, it's green, so it's the green sale. So I, I, my mind, at least at this time of the year, is going for St. Patrick's Day, but you could also leave it out for Easter. You could even keep the lid off of it if you want to, and you could put some little Easter eggs in there. That would be cute as well. Okay, so Patricia is at 40, so I'm going to start counting down. $40 going once. $40 going twice. And sold to Patricia for forty dollars, I think it's Patricia. You know, I don't want to say the name wrong again. I think it's Patricia Sandoval. Yes, Patricia Sandoval. Look at me. I got it right. I got it right. I said the right name. Thank you so much, Patricia Sandoval. All right, next. I'm going to start my thing. Hi, Katie girl. I hope you're feeling better. I didn't know that you weren't feeling very good until yesterday. I seen in the comments that you were, you've been sick. So I hope you're feeling better. All right. I do have some books. Now I like to use books in, in decor at home. You know, you can stack. This is another one that I'm going to be selling, but you know, you can stack your books and then put, you know, use the display in them as well. This one is really pretty. It is The Winning of Barbara Worth by Harold Bell Wright. And it's got this. She means serious business, apparently. And gosh darn it, I had seen the copyright on here. And then I, and this is not an offer up, by the way. So um, the copyright date in this book is... Hang on. 1911, the year before the Titanic sank. Um, but this picture right here says, more to reign his composure than because he was thirsty, helped himself from the earthen water jar. 
So it's got this one picture. She still doesn't look very happy. So I don't know if she, I think it has something to do with horse racing. So this is 1911. There are, find another one. There are some black and white litho pictures throughout the book. So it's partially illustrated. He had lifted the canteen and was holding it upside down. So it is partially illustrated, but this is $15 and it is number 27. $15, number 27. Nope, this one's not an offer up. For the winning of Barbara Worth. All right, I see Cindy J. Hi, Cindy girl. Cindy J. Katie, did you have a migraine? Because those, gosh, those can make you just ill, like physically ill. Okay, next I have a cute little syrup dispenser. I love that. I love this green color, but I like the ribbing of the glass down here. And you know, you put your syrup in there. You could also put your coffee cream in here. And so, you know, you can be fancy and pour your coffee cream. Now, I will say that this one does have, oh, I didn't even know. It is made, well, no, it just says hot water will free sticky slider there you go it's got instructions it's made by federal tool corporation it does have a little split right here in the plastic this is plastic it's not bakelite it's plastic it does still work and it screws on there nice so that is just wanted you to be aware that that is there this is 15 dollars, and it's number nine $15, number nine. These are actually really pretty too. You can fill them. Um, at Christmas time, I would fill them in with Christmas bulbs and use that as a display. You can also put like conversation hearts in them at Valentine's Day or Easter eggs. I see Rosemary Preston. Rosemary Preston. Thank you, Junk to be Loved. You know, this sweater, my husband's been so sweet. He's just a sweet man in general, but he knew I was having a bad day yesterday. He just kind of let me be by myself, you know, and like just, you know, just kind of be by myself. And he, this was his favorite sweater. So it makes me happy that he loves this sweater when I wear it and he compliments me when, when I wear it. So it just makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, Katie, I hope you feel better soon. Okay, these are weird. Now, I know that Michelle Newton's cover likes her salt and pepper shakers. And Michelle, do you have cucumber salt and pepper shakers? Now, these do not have the um, stoppers. They are made in Japan, but they're little cucumbers. Aren't they cute? Just little, little cucumbers. You could get a stopper on them. Or they're cucumbers, but they kind of look like pickles. But, you know, cucumbers get turned into pickles. But, yeah, aren't they cute? Thanks, Katie. These are $10, and they're number 25. $10. They're not. They're cucumbers. <laughs> tiger. They're green, though, Tiger. They could be not less. It's a Martian. Okay. Vintage AF. I love her name. We say that all the time whenever we she comes to the sales. We're like, we love her name. Vintage AF. Those cucumbers are heading to you. They are cute for summer. They're just weird. I remember seeing them and I thought, huh. Well, those are different. Those are different. Hi, Sandy. All right, next I have this little bowl. Now I didn't I didn't originally have this one pulled. And my dad sometimes will, <laughs> Tiger, well, yeah, you could put them in the, the green condom bowl. You could, you could, Tiger, you could. Um, but sometimes I'm like, I pull stuff. I'm like, well, I didn't pull that, but dad has. So this is a bowl that dad thought that needed to be sold. And I think that this is Ivy. It's made in the USA and it's number 333. 
Hi, Diane. It's made in the USA. I believe that it's Ivy. That's all I know about it. It has no chips or cracks on it anywhere, but Dad, Dad pulled this out. We had, we had brooches in it for a very long time, just storing them in there. So I don't know what he's done with the, oh no, I sold all those brooches. I sold them all. Anyway, oh, hi, Graham. Hi, Linda. So this green ivy bowl is $8 and it's number 15. Cabbage. Oh, it might be cabbage. Well, I just put leaf, I'll put leaf bowl, green leaf bowl, $8, number 15. I see Peggy Hall, Peggy Hall. So dad will be pleased. He laid something else out too, but I, I couldn't fit it in. So I didn't, uh, it'll be in, in, in another sale soon. Okay, next we have, now I, you know, I, I'm all fine about finding the fire and light. And this is not fire and light, but it is a piece of recycled glass and it has the little clover on it. So you could put this in, you know, like a little uh, plate stand and you can use that. It's a paperweight, basically. It's a paperweight. This is $12 and it's number 46. $12 and it's green. $12 number 46. For the clover, it's recycled glass, paperweight. It's not signed by anybody. I see Cindy J. Cindy J. I'm at an antique store and I found you a present for me. I'm so happy that you're stop that shopping at an antique store. Antique stores make me happy. You know, dad told me, you know, dad's been liking being in these little dad halls. And I have another one over there to film. And he, I think he wants to go shopping with me. So we're, I'm going to film a Misty and dad shopping together. Because honestly, he likes shopping by himself. He likes shopping by himself. But I think he's going to, we're going to film a shopping together video. You guys better, listen, if you haven't hit the thumbs up button, you better. Because when Virginia gets back and we don't have... 300 thumbs ups everyone's going to get spankings so hit the thumbs ups button let's make virginia happy let's make virginia happy she'll be so happy when she comes back all right next i got this cute little art glass fish and i want to say that this is probably a shark i think a shark maybe but it's a piece of art glass or blown no yeah a little piece of art glass he does have a little bit a little chip on the his back fin that you can feel that you can feel but he's got little eyeballs which is great to have it's great to have some eyes cute little green it doesn't glow or anything i already i already tried but it is 18 dollars, and it's number 56 18 dollars, number 56 i think that it's a shark just because it has this top thing but maybe it's a dolphin i don't know you can it can be whatever one animal whatever fish you want it to be all right i see norma jacob norma jacob oh kara we're not gonna start singing that song and that that's oh that is not a song that we'll be able to get out of our heads if we sing it all right next I have right here. This is something else that dad had picked up and it's a little cloisonne, little cloisonne 10. It's brass. It's enameled on the inside as well, but you can see the brass. There's a spot where the enamel has come apart or come off and along the rim, you can see that it is brass. Really pretty cloisonne 10. It does have a little bit of where the, the enamel's missing in some spots, but I love the pretty design on it. Yeah, seeing anything else. Isn't that pretty? On the bottom, it's enameled. Cute little green cloisonne um, dish is $12, and it's number 49. 
twelve dollars <laughs> number 49 Kara's gonna sing it anyway for the cloisonne dish trinket i see florida mischief maker look i did it right i'm not standing here saying florida miss jeff for marker florida Mish mischief maker i remember i remembered do you guys remember i know graham does because graham graham graham's mom is my best friend and we we do this all the time when we're together but do you guys remember south park and do you remember the member berries? I remember. Do you remember? Oh, I remember. You remember Chewbacca? I remember Chewbacca. Do you guys remember the member berries? Just a little, just throwing that out. Just throwing that little nugget out there. If you haven't, you should go on YouTube and type in South Park member berries and have a little fun. Take a little trip. I sent it to Jeffrey and he thought it was funny. Member. Member? Oh, I remember. Do you guys <laughs> Graham? I remember. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Do you remember? Oh, I remember. Dale. Okay, this next book is a cool book. It's got what looks like, I don't think that it is Julius Caesar, but it could be on the front. Hi, Lena. This is the Paris, I haven't seen Melissa, but Paris Universal Exposition of 1878, volume V. Is that five? Is that five? I think it's five. Remember favorite series? I remember. Remember Star Wars? I remember Star Wars. Okay, reports of the United States Commissioners, Washington, 1880. It's basically just a really cool book to use in your, you know, your display. But it says preserved at Harry A. or some, I don't know, November 14th, 1881. But it has like all these farm implements in it. But honestly, I like it because it's, ooh, what's this? Hang on a minute. It's got a map. Got a map on the inside. That's fun. What else is in here? I mean, maybe I should have looked at this a little bit more. And I didn't look this up or anything, so it could be worth millions of dollars. It's not an offer up. I'm going to sell it for... Oh, there's another map. Where are you a map of? Field of Marmont in France. The Universal Exposition of 1878. July 22nd, 1878. Well, that's cool. Oh, no, on the back, I thought I had it upside down. On the back, it's got this little seal on it. So, anyways, it's nice to use as a display. So, this Paris Exposition 1878 book is $16, and it's number 28. Now, this is a heavy book, but if this is the only thing that you get, it will ship media mail. Now, if you get this and something else, it, I can't ship it media mail. So, just letting you know that, but... $16, number 28, for the Paris Universal Exposition, 1878, book. All right, I see Tammy, Tammy Walker. Tammy Walker, you got it, dude. Oh, Kara. <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. Boop. <gasps> Melissa is there. Melissa, did you see in the video I was trying to speak French and I, I put you to shame? I know that you were probably yelling at me because I was really butchering it up. <gasps> oh, this next thing. Now, I just recently found this. And it's so cool. I love it so much. And I know that you guys will like it. I know that you will like it because I just know. I just know, but look, it's green for one, so it's fitting for this sale, but it's got a Scotty dog on it. And this little Scotty dog is flocked. He's fuzzy. And honestly, the trash can is very, it's very, it's in very good shape. Isn't this fun? It's metal, it's very lightweight. 
but I was so, th just finding this, it was kind of one of those things that you, when you find it, you're like, oh, that's so cute. I wasn't filming when I found this because sometimes I just, I want to go shopping without filming so I can actually shop with two hands. Isn't this so cute? Oh, this is an offer up. I'm sorry. This is an offer up. Emma, Emma, this is number 31. I'm starting it at $20. $20. It has an H on the bottom. The bottom of it is metal. The side of it is like a cardboard, but it has this metal rim around it. Randy Girls at 21. Randy Girls at 32. Oh, good. We're at 310 thumbs up. So we're all safe. Virginia won't, won't give us whippings. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Vintage and Vino is at $35. I think that this is so cute. And you know what? The, you know what's kind of fun? As I'm talking and holding it, it's vibrating. Kind of feels like a megaphone. Kind of does feel like a megaphone. It's kind of a, a nice sensation, I have to say. All right, Randy Girl is at 37 Or you can make it a drum. Randy Girl, you can walk around and play the drums for your husband. Hey, I need some more. Planters and... Moon and stars and fairy lamps. Yes, I, you can like put them on a, under a spell. You can put them under a spell. All right, Randy girls, she's gonna put her husband on a spell so he will buy her all the things she wants. Randy girls at forty dollars. Forty dollars for Randy. And vintage and vino is at. $42. He would kill me if I, if I sang. Well, sometimes you have to shut them up and then they'll go buy you that thing that you want. And you're like, eh, I'm going, don't make me get out my trash can. I'm going to get it out. If you, I, we're going to go and get this or I'm going to get out my, my music trash can. Randy girls at 45. See, I want to go shopping. You can, you can like, in the mornings but of course you have to hide it because he might he might burn it he sings all the time well well then maybe he maybe he wants this then all right i'm going to start counting down brady girl at 45 dollars 45 dollars going once 45 dollars going twice and Sold, sold to Randy Girl for $45. Okay, that was kind of fun, Randy, I have to say. You're going to have to try that when you get it because it's it's a little fun. It is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ellie, I'm sorry, I already called it. If I said sold, I think that it went to Randy for $45. I've already called it, so I'm not going to, well, you know, hi, Sarah. Okay, so I need I need someone to type in sold net for the next time, but but I, I already called Randy Girl. I'm sorry, Ellie. If I hadn't typed in, if I hadn't hit enter, yeah. I said sold first, yeah. Sometimes, listen, guys. Sometimes we just have to go by on what's, what's, you know, what we see. I had to turn off the volume. <laughs> She's playing the trash can. <laughs> Thank you for understanding, Elie. <laughs> oh, vintage and vino. Okay. Oh, these are fun. Now, this does have a little bit of damage they are these owl these are treasure craft these owl salt and pepper shakers this guy right here has a little chip on his ear but i, I couldn't resist Be well for one they're treasure craft and you know who we think about when we see treasure craft and that's our buddy george the antique nomad uncle professor george the antique nomad and so these are they are marked treasure craft on the back oh yeah they're owls these are 18, oh, they do have their stoppers, by the way. They are, and they're little nuggets. 
They're $18 and they're number 55. $18, number 55 for the treasure craft. No, they don't have a date on them. Big eyed, big green eyed owls. Sorry. All right, I see found again. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, I'm telling you. How do I get my name so I can bid? Oh, Jenny, Jenny, you just use your name, Jenny. You just use your name. But I'll, but Jenny, right now, just send me send me a um, send me a uh, email to thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail .com with all of your information, and then you're good. That's all you gotta do. You just say your name, Jenny. Jenny is a fine name. Um, I I have one moon star thing left. Um. Yes, Pam, you can make a purchase without being a wrench. I'm that's I don't I'm not doing that. Yep, all you have to do is register. That's all. Okay. Yes, I did, Pamela. I can see them when they pop through. And I think you sent did you send it just now? But I know I've seen an email by you. Oh, I know. I see, you see the Belgian bottle? That's going to come up soon. All right, true story. I did buy some of these, and I decided to do this one because it's green. It's green. And this is true story, which apparently a lot of people have messaged me because I was asking if these were like a scandalous thing back in the day. And apparently some people were telling me that, like, these were off limits. Like, their, their mom or their grandma had these. And they knew as a child, they were not to look at these. True story. This one is from October 1955, which is just a month after the late, great James Dean died. James Dean died on September 30th, 1955. I'm a huge James Dean person. By James, right now it's Liberace, but I, I know everything there is to know about James Dean. Just saying. Oh, Emma, are you here? What happened? Did something happen? She better be here. She's here. Oh, yeah. Cindy Cindy knows. Her mom had these and she hit them. So, because this one says, the back alley girl. Oh, you know nothing good happens in the back alley. An ex-delinquent story of shame and redemption. And also, they called me the ape man's wife. The eighth man's wife. And my baby is blind, but he will not, he will not live in the darkness. Now this does have some really nice color um, advertisements in it, which is nice. Um, oh, Niagara soap. Just swish Niagara in cold water and it's ready. Ooh, look at that pink duster. Look at this O cedar pink duster. Can we get one of those now? Can we get one of those now? Del Monte. Ooh, goulash. Banana pudding. The black, oh my word. The black widow caught me in her web. Look at her. She's, she's doing a little Joan Crawford in there. But it says when I was a child, Aunt Angie had always been a dazzling smile a peal of laughter a scent of sweet perfume but now i sense dark twisted passions in her life smoldering hates and the danger of sudden deaths wow low down they're having a low down low down throw down i love him forever oh there's the back alley girl i won't i screamed you'll have to kill me first Okay, well, here we go. You can find out all about it. Yeah, these were considered very racy. Well, you can read this magazine for $12. And it's number seven. No, it's not an offer up. $12, number seven. And look at the Prell ad on the back. Do y'all remember Prell? All right, I see Sally Johnson. Gotcha. Yeah. 
You're, I will have to look about the ape man's wife. I'm kind of curious, but I don't want to take forever. But I want to know why they called her the ape man's wife. Don't you guys want to know? Why was she the ape man's wife? I'll have to, I'll have to figure this out later. But I kind of want to know. Played for a sucker. My baby is blind. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm going to move on. Those are just fun to look at. I know, I, I've said this before. I need to do a story time with, like, I have more of these magazines. We could do a story time. But I know Katie Girl does that. Katie does that on, she's reading a book um, on her on her YouTube channel, Katie Vintage and Vinyl. She bought one of the books that I sold, and she's reading it. It's a saucy book. So saucy magazines would be cool, too, because they're a short story. And I, I really am going to look up about why they call that lady the ape man's wife. Do I have any Georgia people? Are there any Georgia peaches in the house today? Georgia peaches? Well, are you a Georgia peach? And do you like pencils? <laughs> do, do, do you know? Do you like pencils? Well, if you are a Georgia girl and you like pencils, you need a place to park your pencils. And I happen to have this handy dandy pencil parking from Georgia jug. And I'm even going to include these two vintage pencils in here from Farmer's Mutual. And it's got the old phone number on it. It's not going to focus, but it does. And this one's from Ditson's Corn Top or Wholesome. I don't know. But, and it's, this one's got the cork in it too. So it's a pencil parking thing from George, Croc from Georgia. And on the bottom, it's made in the USA. But no chips or cracks on it. It's $16. It's got this really fun green. 16 I wholeheartedly thought it was Thursday. Showed up to my Thursday. Oh, Emma. Okay, I got all kinds of Georgia peaches in here. But this is $16 and it's number 59. But are you a Georgia peach, peach that loves pencils? Because you can park your pencils in this here jug. It does have like a piece of a piece a little bit of blue stain on that side for whatever reason bobby earp bobby earp is the winner emma um is going to do, be doing a summer internship that she's really excited about i'm very proud of her she's she's majoring in marketing she's going to do a summer intern and she moves home <laughs> which is just in two months, a um, two, little over two months. Oh, this is really cool too. Okay, do I have any New York people in the house? Probably a lot. New York. This is a souvenir of, okay, Atlantic City. Do I have any Atlantic City New York people in the house? This is really cute. It is made in Germany. Okay, here we go. This is a souvenir of Atlantic City, New York. It's got, see, it's got a horse, it's got a, um, a horseshoe on it, and that's luck, right? And it's lucky is St. Patrick's Day, so it all fits in. I think this is just cute as can be. It's a little Atlantic City, New York air plant vessel. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this is $10, and it is number, no. Oh, that says New York. Look at that. That's New York. That doesn't look like a J. Atlantic City NY. Listen, when I said New York, I thought it sounded wrong, but this clearly says New York. Ooh, that says New York. Do y'all agree with me now? Maybe it was a typo. It's a stylized J. 
Well, <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. It was made in Germany, so it wasn't a mistake. It, it was made in Germany. See? Well, that's right, Shelly. It's worth more. It's $10, though. I've already said how much it was. I just think it's really cute. And I'm still going to say it's New York because I'm making up my own place. It's in No Chips or Cracks. It is um, $10, and it's number 62. Number 62 for this controversial piece. Sandra Kay. Sandra Kay, do you, are we going to say that it's New York and it's our own made-up place where we can all go and live in harmony? <laughs> Maybe they did think that, Carrie. <laughs> all right, next... Oh, I have another magazine. This one is, it's green. So, you know, it, 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 it fits. And this is Outdoor America from February 1929. And it is owned and published by the Isaac Walton League, League of America, Defender of Woods, Waters, and Wildlife. And on the bottom, it has like a little bit of damage down here. Look at this old Remington ad. That alone, I think, would be cool in a frame. But if you're going to tear this off, don't tell me about it. But it's it's a men's magazine. But there's a lot of gun ads. It's for an outdoorsman. Like a sawtooth hunting trip. And the angler's notebook. The romance of rod making. Grayling fishing in Alaska. Certain wildlife aspect. Does that have any color ads in it? Um, but the silence of the great forest, great smoky mountains national park, but it's like an outdoor, an outdoor magazine. Oh, what year? It's 1929, 1929. This is $10 and it's number 51. $10 number 51. There is a little bit of water damage right there, but see it's February, 1929. It's in really good condition. It's nice and sound. Rebecca Udi. Rebecca Udi. You get it, girl. It's yours. Oh, thank you, Jenny. You're good then. See, that's all you had to do. Now, for other people's sales too, that's all you have to do for their sales too. Oh, um, hi, Amanda. Oh, that's how mine was the other day. And hopefully it's not because people said I keep buffering a little bit. Okay, who likes McCoy? I do. I love McCoy. I used to have tons of these McCoy planters that I've since sold. But I did pick this one up recently. This is a nice green basket weave. It has the fitted tray on the bottom. It is McCoy. It's clearly marked. Thank you. Thank you, McCoy, for clearly marking your pottery. Now, I know you don't do it all the time. But I appreciate that you did for this but really nice flower pot this is no chips or flaws on it anywhere this is 25 dollars, and it's number 47. how to buy came in like all you have to do a eliza is send me your information to thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com i see the rusty ooh. The Rusty Cornerstone. Send me a message with your actual name, your YouTube name, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email, and then you're good. Then you are good. You can do it right now. I do only accept PayPal though. Oh, I posted this earlier. And I posted, a, I quoted myself, so I don't need a wrench. No, you don't need a wrench. And Jeffrey only, Jeffrey only asks, he only has you be a wrench if you're, you only have to be a wrench if you are doing an offer up, not just from a regular sale. Oh, check that winner again. 
Okay, okay, let me check. Oh, I'm, okay, Lee Ann Hoffrath. Sorry, I'm sorry, the Rusty Cornerstone. Lee Ann Hoffrath. I'm sorry. Thank you guys. Yeah, you. if I miss it, you all let me know. That's cool. I'm okay with that. But unless it's your own name, because you do see your own name first. <laughs> um, now, I posted a, a quote. I quoted myself because I, I found this book and I loved it. And it's puppet making. Look at those creepy puppets. Look at, look at his little snaggle tooth. Look, look at that. Look at that chicken. Chicken. I love this. And I said that puppet making should be a thing again and we can make our puppets, go on the road, have a little show, make people laugh, dress like Liberace. Now remember, you had these. Everybody made those, right? But I wanna learn how to make this chicken. Oh, I just saw a clown. We're not even going to go there. But look, you can make a chicken with an eye patch on and that creepy Lady Elaine. There's Santa. Puppet making. It, you can, it, it will teach you all these puppets. Oh, there's that. There's a, there's a stupid clown. This is a hardback book. So you'll get, and this is a lot, by the way, and it's not an offer up. This is a lot. So you get the puppet book. You can also learn how to book. Um, you can learn how to crochet, knitting, tack, and embroidery. And this is from 1941. Oh, look. You can make you a snazzy little beanie hat like that. It has all these illustrations to show you how to tat, how to knit, how to crochet. You know, this is before watching a YouTube video because that's what I—that's how I learned. But you can actually learn from reading an actual book. This is—they're both in really nice condition. So you get both of these books for fifteen dollars, and they're number twenty-two. Now, listen: if you buy these books and you make make a gosh darn puppet, you better be sending me a picture. That's all I have to say. Hours of entertainment making puppets. Oh, Tanya, shh, I think. Yes, shh, quiet. I'm hunting treasures. Listen, I'm telling you right now that if you make a puppet, I want, I want to see pictures of it. Carrie, you almost. Carrie, you could still make a puppet and send me a picture, though. You just have to be creative on your own and, and find your own pattern out of that. You can't use, you can't use Tanya's book. Okay, now this next dish, I don't know who made it. I don't know. I want to say possibly Viking. Possibly. But it's triangular. And it's just, okay, it's triangular. And you see how it has these kind of nubbins? It's got a nubbin here and a nubbin. Oh, that's Lori, not Carrie. <laughs> well, Carrie, Carrie, you can make... You can make puppets too. Puppet, anyone can make a puppet. You just have to put your mind in puppet making mode and you can, you can go down. Isn't this pretty? It, it, it's, now this is an offer up and I'm starting it at $20. And it has this base on it that's a triangular, triangular base, but it, then it has this round bottom to it. So this is an offer up, no chips or cracks. Look at it on the inside. I love it. It is, it does have a little bit of weight to it. It does have a little bit of weight to it, but I love the shape and it, there's, no, there's no cracks on it anywhere. <laughs> That's idea of hell. Okay. Now listen, Tanya, do not make a clown puppet. That's all I have to say. Okay. Shirley is at 35. If this is really nice. Now, you know, this is green and then like St. Patrick's Day is coming up. But couldn't you imagine at Christmas time, silver balls, silver balls in it? Oh, that'd be pretty. Or red balls. I'm not gonna say the, we're not going to say the other color. I know you guys are thinking it and I'm not going to say it. You're not going to get me to say it. Um, 
So Wax Compass is at $36. Make sure you send me, do, are you registered Wax Compass? I need your, you send me an email with your actual name because I'm, I'm going to assume that your actual name is not Wax. I'm just going to say. But I need all your information, your actual name, your YouTube name. Yeah, there you go, Michelle. I'm not going to say it. You're not going to make me say it. Your YouTube name, your actual name, your full shipping address, and your, oh, thank you. Thank you. And your PayPal email. Yes, Michelle. All right, so I'm going to, Shirley is out. I'm going to start counting down. Wax Compass is at $36. No, you don't need to send an email if you bought from me before. $36 going once. $36 going twice. Oh, Peggy is at 37. Peggy is at 37. 37. Silver balls. <laughs> Peggy's at 37. Wes is at 38. Silver bells. Gosh, Jackie, now I'm going to be singing that. It's actually silver bells, but we can change the words. Wax Compass is at $38. Do you have to have a YouTube name? No. Oh, no, Anita, your name is just fine. I just need to know that, I just need to know that that is your actual name. That's all. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. Nope. All right. Wax Compass is at $38. I'm going to start counting down again. $38 going once. Oh, Peggy's at 40. That was your favorite song. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take a drink. So we're at $40. This coffee isn't very good today, I have to say. Mm -hmm. And wax is out. Okay, thank you, Wax, for telling me that, that that's very helpful. So, Peggy Hall, $40. So, $40 going once. $40 going twice. Sold to Peggy Hall for $40. Thank you, Peggy. Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue. Pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue. Okay, next, where are we at? Well, Virginia is going to be so happy. We're at 353. If we get to 400, I'll stop and I'll do the, the fairy lamp. I've got a Viking fairy light. I know, it's all at the bottom, Beth. I know. All right, I have another green planter. This one is made, it just says CP3806 USA. Nice, funky green planter. Now, these are nice. These are going to be, a, I mean, I'm going to sell these here in a minute, too. But, you know, like these diaries, which I love, you can put, you don't have to put plants in a planter. You can put, if you collect, which honestly is something that I thought about collecting, but I'm not going to, are these vintage diaries. But you can put things like that in. You can put books in here, pamphlets, maps. You don't have to put just plants in it. This is in excellent condition. It is $16 and it is number 53. Yeah, it does have this really pretty drip glaze on it and on the inside as well. Makeup brushes, that's a good idea. Leanne Hofferth. I'm probably saying your last name wrong, Leanne. Hofferth. Uh, 53, number 53. Oh, CP is Cookson Pottery. Thank you, Curly. Does he say Cookson or Crookston? What did you say? Cookson Pottery. Thank you. It's actually Ho Firth. Ho Firth. Hi, Patricia. Oh, Patricia, we still got lots to do. All right. I got the I got this Belgium canister. This is a big one. This is a big one. It's not marked. It's got no, no nothing on it. It is 
got the plastic, ugh, the plastic um, stopper. This is an offer up, and I'm going to start this at $15. I love all the imperfections in the glass and all the bubbling and stuff. So I'm going to start this at $15. I have a small powder jar with some designs that would match that made in Belgium too. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. These are really neat. Now, I, I really wasn't that aware of these until just recently. So, you know, sometimes, I mean, I've, I've been around this stuff forever. And sometimes, you know, things just pop up and I'm like, huh, yeah, those are neat. It has a good seal. Rosemary's at 25. No chips or cracks on it anywhere, and it doesn't smell. Sometimes I've I've noticed when you open up some of these vessels, they stink. Someone stored something in it for years, and it stinks. Okay, uh, LaDonna is at 35. 35 for the Belgium. Uh, LaDonna, 35. Kelly's at 36. So hot. LaDonna's at 40. Yeah, I know I caught my hair in it. You know, in science class one time, I got too close to the Bun Brunson burner and caught my hair on fire. Fun fact. All right, I see Jenny McTimmons. That's a fun name to say. At 41. LaDonna is at 45. Because, you know, I wasn't paying attention and I got a little too close to the flame. Caught my hair on fire. I mean, not bad. But just a little bit. My, my lab partner put it out real quick for me. LaDonna is at 50. Nice, big, and I love the, the all the bubbles. See the, the little air bubbles in it? I caught my hair in a paper press that prints magazines. Oh, my gosh. That's, you know what? That's why I don't like um, escalators. Because I know I've seen those horror movies when, like, you trip and fall in your hair or your necklace or something gets caught in that thing. And then you... Ugh. Yeah, we're at five dollar increments right now. Um, Ladonna is at fifty, so the next offer up needs to be fifty five. Fifty five. I've scorched my eyebrows. Wow. Well, now I have probably have done that too. We're at fifty five. Needs to be the next offer up. We're at five dollar increments. All right. I'm going to start counting down 50. Oh gosh, Katie, your shoelace got caught. Uh-uh. That's, a, a, that's a, a deep fear of mine. Okay, LaDonna is at 60. Oh, listen, I, I, fall, I fall going up the stairs. I did just fall last week. I was actually talking to Thrift You on Marco Polo. I was talking to Sam on Marco Polo, tripped and fell up the stairs, fell, Dropped my phone, cracked my phone just a little bit, and hurt my pride a little bit and bruised up my leg. Um, $60. So $60 going once. $60 going twice. Sold to LaDonna Derwin, I believe. Yes, for $60. Oh, I'm sorry, Kelly. I already called it. LaDonna, I, I, LaDonna is at $60. I caught my hair caught in a steel brush grinder. What? Oh, my gosh. Julia. I hadn't said anything. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Kelly. All right, LaDonna, LaDonna's like 70. Okay, I'm going to go, I already called it, and I, Kelly says it's okay, so I'm selling it to LaDonna. 
LaDonna for $60. So LaDonna, thank you for the $70 bid, but I'm selling it to you for $60. Thank you, Kelly. All right, I'm gonna put that back up there because it looks pretty in the background, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't do this. I don't like escalators. Oh, I, oh, where'd it go? I moved it. I have this, I've had this for a little while and maybe some of you guys will know where this is. It's a federal glass, it's it's opal glass, federal glass, charm step. The shoes with young, no. Yeah, the shoes with young ideas. Charm step, the shoes with young ideas. Do you know? Has anybody ever heard of this? It's 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 like that on both sides. It is made by federal glass. Ooh. But hi Yvonne. But you can use this, you know, it's it says charm. So that's lucky, right? Lucky. But you can put a little plant in it. I don't know, I've never heard of it. I've had it for a while. This is it's a piece of advertisement. This is eight dollars and it's number nineteen. Eight dollars number nineteen for the charm step. The shoes with young ideas, whatever that means. Why did why do shoes have ideas? Why do, why do shoes have young ideas? I don't understand what it means, but it, if you would like it, it can be yours for eight dollars and it's number nineteen. Hello. I don't know, and I haven't googled it, and I, but I don't understand what their whole thing. Well, it must be, Kara, because it's about shoes. But I don't know why shoes are having ideas. Well, we didn't. Oh, what did I do? Katie wants it. Vintage in vinyl. It was a brand of shoes. But why did they have young ideas? The shoes with young ideas. Doesn't make any sense. Katie. Got it. Thank you, Katie girl. Katie likes her advertisement. She's, she's, she's a smart cookie. Grandma, grandma shoes that perk up your step. <gasps> Ooh, maybe. Hi, Maria. Maybe. All right, we're not, we're not at, oh, we're not at um, 400 thumbs ups yet, but I drew it. I drew the thing. So we're going to do the fairy lamp. This is Viking glass. I'm starting this at $30. It is actual green glass. I do have, um, I actually have these Christmassy colored lights in it, but uh oh, I'm back on. Oh well. You're, you're not doing your job lights. You're going to have to go down there. We're starting this at $30. Beautiful uh, green, no chips or flaws on it. Fairy lamp. It is green glass. It's not, it's not flash. Now you're going to work. I'm turning you off. Your time is over. All right. Um, I know oh where was it at? Leanne Hoferth is, oh, now Anne, Anne is at $100. So yeah, well, now we're at a hundred, we're at $5 increments. This is beautiful. Great for St. Patrick's Day or Christmas or, or, you know, or all year if you like green. So we're at $100. So the next offer up would need to be $105. But I'm, I mean, look, and, and one of the power bid. Sometimes if you just want it, you just got to go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and start counting down one hot, one hot dollars. <laughs> $100 going once, $100 going twice, sold to Ann Dallas for $100. I mean, I have done it before. If you, you see something and you want, you get it. I, I've done it at auctions many of times. Sometimes when, my, to a point where my husband wants to tape my hands to well, when we would go, when we be able to go to physical auctions, take my hands down. 
Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm calling hundreds of dollars. <laughs> One holiday dollars. Well, it just slipped, but I kind of like it. Thank you so much, Ann. I appreciate it. All right. Now, I do have some uranium glass. This, this, now when I first saw this, I thought this isn't going to glow because sometimes when they're like almost glow sometimes uh, to the naked eye, it doesn't glow. Jeffrey and I just had this sort of a little conversation about this earlier because um, sometimes, well, listen, the thing of it is, I forget my black light where pretty much wherever I go because when I shop, I, I either, if my husband's with me, he carries my my credit card and he and i i don't want to have i don't want my purse in my hand i don't want anything in my hand because i'm filming so i already have one hand taken care of and then i got one little hand over here to look i don't want to carry anything so i forget what is a good way to tell the difference between colored glass versus flash um well most of the time not all the time but most of the time you can tell flash glass because the paint's starting to come off a little bit so you just kind of have to basically really look around the base of it. Like you want to look around the bottom of it. And typically you can see that the paint is starting to come off like around the bottom of the base because it's, you know, it, it's picked up and moved several times. So that's the way that I will tell. Sometimes you just really got to look at all the little corners and the little edges and you'll be able to see if the paint's coming off along the side. And then sometimes if you hold it up to light and you can see more of the paint. Yeah. And sometimes you can like use your fingernails a little bit. All right. So this is uranium glass. It glows. Jackie, what can we use this for? Jackie, are you still there? What can we use this for, Jackie? Virginia's back. Virginia, are you proud of us? You can get black light, but listen, Rebecca, I don't even carry my key. Well, I put my keys in my pocket. I'm going to have to look into that. A black light flat, a uh, uh, keychain? That'd be great. Okay. So, cashews. I was waiting for that. All right, so this little cashew dish. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Time to get your, oh, good luck, Bobby. Good luck, Bobby. Jackie. What can this be used for? Let us know. People already said it. But anyway, this is uranium glass. There's no chips or cracks on it. It is $18 and it's number 37. 18 dollars number 37. Lori Worley Cashews. Cashews. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention to the numbers. All right, we've got the rusty. Look, look at you, rusty cornerstone. I got it. I, you got it that time. Ooh, cheese. Cheese. There's always room for cheese. I sometimes have cheese for dinner. Sometimes you just want some cheese for dinner, and that's what you eat. I make food for everybody else, and I'm like, I'm just going to have cheese. Most of the time, I make. Amy's cheese enchiladas. Emma knows this well. And I put cheese on the cheese enchiladas. And that, I, I eat that quite often. Okay, next I have a lot of sheet music. Now, I, I have all of my, um, my artwork for my gallery wall all framed but my i my husband just insists that he is the hanger upper because i'm very much the type of person that i'm like eh, hammer 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 and then okay yeah hammer hammer that looks good but he's like i'm gonna get the it's it's totally cheese with a side of enchilada it is and then he's like well i gotta get the level out make sure that's straight and i'm like yeah that's good but he is the official hanger upper but so I haven't gotten my gallery wall hung up yet, but I have chosen because I have currently been a little obsessed with this sheet music and I've been buying lots of it, but I've gone through my stash and I pulled out items that were St. Patrick's C or green. I'm going to start this lot at 
$15 and you will get all of these in this lot. So the first one is the Bells of St. Mary. Um, these are all piano. I think some of them might be ukulele, but I think that they're, they would still say ukulele somewhere on theirs, but these are piano. So we have the Bells of St. Mary. That's one. Oh, I love this one. Because I like, I like things with girls. I like things with girls on it. I like like Gibson girls and girls from like the 20s, 30s. I just like their look. Um, and so this one is watching my dreams go by. She couldn't say no with Chester Morris from the movie. She couldn't say no. So there's that one. And then the things that mean so much to me. Now some of these do have Betty. Betty Lawson wrote her name and Betty also stamped her name on it. Way to go, Betty. So there's that one. I love this one. Put on an old pair of shoes. Look, that looks like, um, that's old Ozzy, Ozzy Nelson. Look, there's Ozzy Nelson. And this gal is uh, Harriet Hill Hillard. Hmm, put it on an old pair of shoes. Anyway, there's this one. I get distracted. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one reminds me. Okay, we're at $20. This one reminds me of Aaron. Not because, you know, Aaron from um, the, the, the collection vintage. Sorry, my brain just went blank. When I dream of old Aaron. Now, listen, Aaron's a lot younger than me. But she's his wife? Ozzy and Harriet! That Harriet. Well, I'll be doggone. That's Ozzy and Harriet. That's Ozzy. That's freaking Ozzy and Harriet when they were young. Mm, their son, Ricky Nelson. Okay. When I dream of old Aaron, I'm dreaming of you. But look at the clovers down here. Look at all the little clovers. Aaron is basically Snow White. I agree. And then, Where the River Shannon Flows, sung by John Russell. The famous Russell brothers. Well, they don't look like brothers. They look like sisters. Do they look like brothers? Maybe they're in drag. Maybe they're in drag. And this is, oh, it's Roman numerals, but I'm going to say this is like from the early 1900s. Also sung by Matt J. Keith in Honey Boy Minstrels. So this one's, the I Dream of Aaron and like these two are bigger. These two are bigger, but you get all of them. All right, where are we at? Ricky and David Nelson. Okay, Belinda. Belinda Carroll is at $23. I'm going to start counting down. Freaking Ozzy and Harriet. Okay, $23 going once. $23 going twice, sold to Belinda for $23. It's piano music. Yep. I have one that I framed that was ukulele music. But the nice thing about these, if, you, if you're doing a gallery wall, is that you can, like, if you find one that you like more, you can, you can switch it out. That's, that's the fun thing about that. Congrats, Belinda. Okay. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. This, now listen, you, I don't get that excited about glassware. It's just not my thing. Yes, I got the frames on Amazon, Cindy. Yep. And I'm actually getting ready to order six more. Because I don't think six is going to be enough. I, I just don't think that it is. I think I need to get more. So, I even did a little bit of research on this glass. And well, and it's some viewers. Now, thank you for you guys that were, had messaged me about this. This is Vaseline glass for one. And it is gorgeous. Let me just show it to you without the black light first. 
So it this is Northwood Agronaut Shell. Some people call it Nautilus. Um, it's EAPG and it is Vaseline glass. And they consider this the banana boat dish. Okay, so look, it's like under the sea. So here we have like sea weed, I guess, but it has shells all the way around it. And it's got this opalescent around the top. So it's like, it's the Vaseline. And then like, just from where it's been, where it's been stretched, it has a, a little bit of the ring of fire, but not, I mean, I've not, not as much as I've seen before. But it is no chips or cracks, n n nothing. It's beautiful. Dad found this, and I, I, it's it's just gorgeous, and it does glow. And Randy Girl is right. Vaseline glass does glow, the most vibrant to me. It's so pretty. Okay, I should have started the numbers. I'm starting this at thirty dollars. It's gorgeous. It's not signed, but it is Northwood Agronaut Shell, a, also known as the Nautilus banana boat dish. It's opalescent, and it, you can kind of see the shells maybe a little bit there on the bottom. But it almost has like this rocky form to it. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. No chips or... This is a form of early American press glass. Um, Kara asks, what's the difference between Vaseline and uranium glass? Vaseline glass has the yellow hue to it, and it's kind of like Vaseline petroleum jelly did. Okay, Blue Flamingo Mercantile is at $80, so we're at $85. $85 would be the next offer up. It's gorgeous. And I love that it has like the under the sea theme to it. Hi, Angela. It's so pretty. But you can see like green, like depression glass. You see how this is more yellow? And this is a green. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so Mare, okay, wax compass is at $85. It's so pretty. And it kind of looks like it's going to suck your soul. <sighs> Doesn't it? Banana boat. Would people, do you think people would actually eat out of this thing? No, it's a compote or they serve out of it. I don't know, but it's, it's cool. It is so pretty. And dad, dad explaining, he was like, oh, look, I should have recorded him explain it. So yeah, it just, it just kind of flows out to the side almost like lava it just flows out okay so tammy is out blue flamingo is at 90 dollars. very pretty can you imagine the home that that was a i know okay thank you wax compass wax compass is out table arrangements fruits or flowers or you could be bougie you could be, it's a demogorgon. You could be bougie though, Vanilla, and eat your banana split out of it. I might break your arms if you tried, but you could be bougie and do it. All right, it, then we're at $90. So $90 Blue Flamingo Mercantile going once. $90 Cashews, $90 going twice. And sold to Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile for $90. <laughs> it's beautiful beautiful and i mean dad found this in a at a flea market like a flea market that you have to like you dig through boxes and find it and it was in there and it's in perfect beautiful shape perfect beautiful all right next i have a katie are you listening? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> this is really pretty. This is really pretty. It's a brooch set. It's a brooch and um, earrings, clip earrings. And it's made by, I'm going to say it wrong. Lizer, Linzer, Linzer, Linzer. 
Windsor. I think Windsor. But here's the brooch. It's so sparkly. It's got seafoam green. Ooh, look at that. It's so sparkly. And it is marked right there. It that from what from what I have read about it, it's really listen, if you want something to research a little bit, research um uranium glass. It's really kind of fascinating. They put like a two percent, it was like two percent of um radium in it. So it tech they say it wouldn't, it's not gonna hurt you, but I still have not um watch the movie but there's a movie called radon i think it's called radium girls and i think that it's on netflix and i want to watch it it's about these girls they they would would make would paint the the numbers on dials of clocks and stuff and they'd found that when they would lick the paintbrush they would it would help them with the numbers is it good is it good kim i want to see it yeah, Rebecca, I, I think I am going to read the book first, Rebecca. I think I am going to read the book first. And they would lick the um, the paintbrush and they would that they would get poisoned. But I mean, if you're putting it in your mouth all day long, you're going to get poisoned by it. All right, so Liz, Liz Leisner, Leisner, let's just say. There's the, it's a flower. And then here are the clip-on earrings. And they're both marked as well. So, oh, I don't know how you'd wear clip-on earrings all day. It hurt. It's on Netflix. But I think I'm going to, I think, Rebecca, I'm going to order the book. So you get all three pieces. All three pieces. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm going to say $18. I was going to do it as an offer. I'm going to say $18. All three pieces, $18. Oops, $18 for the Leisner or Lisner brooches. $18 for the brooch lot. Number 32, I guess that's important, right? 32, Radium Girls, The Dark Story of America's Shining Women by Kate Moore. It's interesting. All right, the Rusty Cornerstone, you got it. You got it. Okay, I'm going to try to speed up because... Oof. All right. Emma's like, yeah, you really should. All right, now I have this little Left in China clover dish. Now that's St. Patrick's Day, right? Left in China. Hand painted. This little trinket dish is $8 and it's number 34. I'm going to try speed up a little bit because I, I got lots more to do. $8, number 34. It's a leaf, but it's a clover. It's made by Left in China. Gabrielle Lish. Gabrielle Lish. Kate Moore wrote the book. It's on Amazon Prime. Okay, so this is a name that I always get wrong too, but it's UPCO. Now, Dad pulled this too, and I'm like, Dad, yes, the broke was Lisner or Leisner. Yeah, the, the earrings were too. I don't really want to ship this, but Dad pulled it, so I'm gonna ship, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it. It is really neat. It's I like the lines on it. This would be sort of like. I would use this like as a centerpiece on your table. You could put fruit and bananas and that kind of thing in it. I love the shape of it. It is UPCO. There's a piece of washi tape on it. I'll get that off. Which is um, Fred Ungmach, whatever. He used to work for McCoy. And then he branched off and said, you know what? I'm going to do that too. And he did. This, this was his company made this. But this is $30 and it's number 26. $30, and no chips or cracks on it. $30, number 26. Beautiful green bowl. I think I see a Shirley Pearl. Ooh, there is an, well, if there's an audio book, I'm probably going to do the audio book. 
because ooh, lots of people liked it. Ooh, yeah, a yarn bowl. That would be pretty silly. Because I don't really have a lot of time to just sit down and read. So I probably will do the audiobook. And then I'll watch the movie. Okay. Oh, these are not uranium. I actually bought these at two separate occasions, but they, they match. They're exactly the same. Big cashew bowl and a little cashew bowl. This one's round and this one's oval. They both have handles. Virginia reads, oh, Virginia, I could never do that in a million years. She reads two books at once. No, I can't do that. My brain cannot remember things. And I would get the, it all confused. So these, you get both of these in this lot. They are $26 and they're number 35 for the pair. $26, number 35. For, and this is green glass. It's not flash. $26 for the set, number 35. I think I went away, but now I'm back. So I am going to try this again. Do you see me? Did somebody say number 35 and I missed it? $26, number 35. Okay. Hi, Sandy. All right. Next. Okay. Well, I, I said the number right when I went buffering, so. Okay. Next, we have, all right, this is an offer up, and I'm starting this at uh, $15. And this is a lot of 20 cards. You'll get all 20 of them in this lot. I'm starting it at $15. So there, there are several St. Patrick's Day. And I tried to pull some antique cards that were green and St. Patrick's Day related or so I thought. But there's this little fella. I'll show them all to you. But you get all. This one says, I wish you a happy birthday from Esther. No, no postmark on here. And then this one is many happy returns of the day. Um, this one has a postmark of 1910. Most of these do have a little note written on the postcard. But you'll get all these. We're starting, there are 20 of them. There, you'll get all 20. So we're starting them at $15. And then this one to the best mother. This one has a little tear in it, but I like the horseshoe. To the best, it has not been signed. This one's just different. This is Savior again. Grant us thy peace throughout our earthly life. Well, I'm not going to read it, but thy will be, uh, grant us thy peace, thy will be dead. But it's a girl sitting at a grave. That's a little morbid. Cindy, or, or Tina, are you there? Tina would like this. This one's dated 1910 as well. This one is the best one. And it's got little prixies on it. Moonshine. Moonshine still in Rock City Garlands. Look out, Mountain. Look, they're drunk little pixies drinking at the still. They're breaking the law. This one's dated 1956. Look at him. He's drunk. That one's the best one. This one says, never see the sunshine, all I get is rain, or find a four-leaf clover, though I look in vain. It, it's luck. It does have a stamp on it. And then these, this one's just green. This one says best wishes. Kansas historical marker. And it's kind of like that linen feel. This is the scenes from the Memphis Zoo. And then this one is many happy returns. Also postmark 1910. Birthday greetings. This one's postmarked 1913. To thy loved ones at home. I can't tell the date, but it, it has, you know, some signing on the back. There's this one. And the mountains of Colorado. Not signed. 
This one's also Colorado. The Oak Creek Canyon. It's like that fabric looking. Japanese Tea Gardens in San Antonio, Texas. Bloomington High School, Bloomington, Indiana. And then these two, these last two here. They're this one's 19, I don't know, Atlantic City. 1910. This one's probably 1910 too. Okay, so 30 Sandra K is at $33. So 20 vintage cards. So Sandra K, $33 going once. $33 going twice. Sold. Sold to Sandra K for $33. I will be doing more. I have a lot of postcards, so I'm going to be I'm going to be making some more postcard lots. Thank you, Sandra K. All right. I have another piece of uranium glass. And I believe this is a little cordial cup. I put my little air plant in it, but see, ooh, it glows. Now the pretty thing about this, and I just have one of them, is it's got this um, frosted glass and it this hand painted design around it. It's very pretty. Now this is green uranium glass. It's not yellow. It is green. So this is $15 and it's number 58. $15 number 58. I do like, you know, you can see you can put a little thing in a little airplane in it and it's just fine. It serves a purpose again. If you only have one, I see Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Ooh. I'm trying to move a little faster. I'm. I've got a lot. This is a lot of stuff. All right. Next, I have a St. Patrick's Day table runner. Now, listen. I was going to keep this, but I decided not to. It is a table runner of St. Patrick's Day. Here we go. No stains, no rips, no tears. St. Patrick's Day. It is $18 and it is number 23. $18, number 23. St. Patrick's Day table runner. Okay, I see Peggy Hall. Peggy Hall. I'm gonna try to go to the lightning round. Clear bird. I don't think you glow. Because sometimes clear glass can glow. No, you don't glow. This is a clear bird. It is... Are you signed? It is... It kind of looks like it's signed, but I can't make it out. But it's just a little... It's a clear bird of happiness. Clear bird of happiness. Which is, isn't the name. But it's $14 and it's number 60. $14, number 60, for the clear bird of purity. That was kind of good, wasn't it? Hey, clear bird, beard, bird, beard? It's a clear beard of purity. Shirley Pearl. I sounded like the Swedish chef. Bird, you bird, dirt. Oh, wrong thing. Misty. All right, next I have moon and star candlesticks. Candlesticks. Ooh, that was loud. Candlesticks. These are, they don't have any chips. I'm going to start them at $15. $15 for the Moon and Star candlesticks. I wonder. I mean, you can, you can also, if you don't want to use them for candlesticks, you could put them like this and display a Christmas bulb in it like a Christmas ornament, that would be pretty because they do stand. They do stand that way. So, and they hold, you can hold them nice. All right, so Side Street Market is at $18. Wear them on your head. You can't really wear them on your head, but that would be kind of neat if you could put a Christmas bulb for a display. All right, Kelly is at 30. You could. You could do a shot. Randy girl, you could do shots out of moon and stars. One for you and one for your husband. You could get all liquored up, bang on your drum, and then go to the antique mall. 
Side Street Market is at $35. Easter eggs, that would be a good idea. Margaritas. Monday was National Margarita Day. I didn't know about it until after Monday was over and be committed. <laughs> Maybe. All right. I see Side Street at $35. I'm going to start count. Oh, Kelly's at 37. Side Street's at 40. I guess I should probably hold them this way because this is what their intended purpose is. They're candlesticks. Or you could be like Madonna. Make a brawl out of them. Okay, Side Street is at 40. <laughs> LEA is at 44. There are, there are no chips or cracks on them. Side streets out. Ellie's at 44. Please do not make them into a brawl. <laughs> well, I won't because, I mean, that wouldn't work for me. But yeah, Moon and Star is an Ellie Smith glass. I should have said that. All right. Let's see, I've already forgotten. I think LEA. LEA is at $44. Oh, Kelly's at $45. Boop, boop, boop. Rainy Girl probably already has these. LEA is at $48. She probably has them in every color. It was made by... LEA is at $48. LEA, $48 going once. $48 going twice. Oh gosh, why did I... Sold to LEA. Wait. Yeah, LEA for $48. I thought there for a minute, Rebecca, I thought you were bidding. I have the Amberina large ones. They are gorgeous. Hi, Susan. Oh, yes. The individual hellos. Listen. Oh, sorry, Kelly. It's already been called. Listen, I, when I go in, sometimes I don't even say, when I'm watching live sales, I don't even say anything because I know that, you know, it, it takes up a lot of, um, uh, it takes away because people, you know, which is fine. People say hi, but. I think that it's okay that when you go into a live sale that you just say, hello, everyone. Because if you're saying a hello to, you know, 30 different people, it takes up a lot of the feed. So I, I, li I like that, Susan. You come in, just say, hi, everyone. You know, when you walk into a room, you don't walk in and say, hello, Ken, hello, Dave, hello. Well, maybe you do, but you're just like, hey, guys. So you can just do that when you come into a sale or chat or whatever. Nate the mayor is here. Hello, Nate. Sweet buddy. Okay, I gotta get moving. Emma's probably having a fit. Okay, I love this green sewing basket. Isn't this great? It's got this little brass dingleberry hanging on there, see? So it has very much of like an to me, it has a lot of an Asian feel to it. Mr. Webb. Mr. Webb made the clock go off again. Um, it has an Asian look to it, but you can put, you can put cool things in it. So this green sewing basket, it is vintage. The weave in it is very tight. It's a very tight. Oh, I'm not doing it as an offer up. It is $20, and it is number three. $20, number three. I loved it. Oh, thank you, Ellie. LaDonna. LaDonna got it, the, the basket. This, actually, I had my cart when I bought it was full, and... Then I saw that from across the room and I was like, oh, so, and I was downstairs and you have to carry your stuff upstairs. So I had to make two trips. I'm sorry, Gabrielle. I had to make two trips up and down the stairs because I was like, oh, I love that basket. 
All right. Oh, so this was something that I, in my mind, think I need to collect, but I don't need another collection. And you get all three of these. And honestly, this girl is a girl after my own heart that had these. Um, this was, well, she's dated it 1938, but it's the Everyday Diary. It's got this little ship on it, but look at the inside, that black and green together. So it's a calendar for 1936, 1937, but she was using it in 1938. She did what she wanted. But she, so she started on January 1st and she got all the way to uh, January 31st and that's it. Month, 30 days, 31 days, 31 days and she's done. I can relate. How many of us have done that? I, I am going to journal. I'm going to start that on my New Year's resolution, my New Year's resolution. Well, 31 days. And I'm not going to read. It's kind of hard to read. She basically just talks about went to the show, saw Esther, you know. So I, lo I just loved the book. I loved it. And like I said, these look good in a display. So this one is just a little daily reminder. And it is, oh, I love the font in that. I know Katie can appreciate that too. Um, and then this is just like, Appointments and memoranda. Memoranda. This is dated the beginning of the week, Monday, October 18th. Hey, that's my dad's birthday, October 18th, 1944. But she, Monday, Busy Eight Club at Doris McDonald's. Wednesday, Ramona Granger at Something Corners, Grange. And that's it. One day. One day. Oh, it is. You could use it this year. Good. She she wrote one day. She had ADHD. I know she did. And I loved her for it. This one's a 1957 diary. Look at that font on there. And this one, it's the Burt. The Burt diary. And she didn't even use this one at all. It's got nothing in it. Oh, look, it's got a little, you can keep track of your, of your banking statements. And it's an installment record, cash account, useful data. So you get all three of these books. For, all three of these books for $20 and they are number 10. You get all three of them. I, again, I think they look cool as a display. Like I said, I put them in that um, planter. Katie, vintage and vinyl. Gotcha, Katie. I think that they're cool. I, I think it would be neat as a collection. And so, Katie, you can read a whole month's worth of Miss Girl's life. And they're not really exciting. I'll just tell you that right now. But still... You can be a little voyeuristic and see what she did in 1938. Okay, I love this book. This is a Gen Basic Readers, Friends Near and Far. Now, the graphics in this book is amazing, but I recently discovered, here, let me just show you a really cool picture. Well, that's not really a cool picture, but it's a reader. Textbook from, I don't know, from the 50s. It was Beth Ann. Beth Ann! It was Beth Ann Sanford from Mrs. Johnson. Teachers. Ooh, this is the teach. That's not the teacher's edition. It's the copyright date is 1961 is the last copyright date. But on the inside, there's all kinds of little things tucked inside. This is the... The freight locomotive. Someone wrote a story. The man who ran the trains. What was Brad? What was Barney's job? So, so I think someone was playing teacher. She graded it. It's 100%. And then also on the inside, I see, and there are several of them in here, a bunch of pressed clovers. This one's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six leaf clover, but there's several, there's two more four leaf clovers that are tucked on the inside. And there's another one. So they're just, they're filled with um, little, little treasures of four leaf clovers. I want to say that this is probably like a fourth or fifth grade level. But it is $18 and it's number 20. $18 number 20. Animal or no. Friends, far and near. I think it's like a social studies. Okay, where do we go? Kara. Kara Krizanowski. Did I say it right? Please tell me I did, Kara. Krizanowski. Kriz. Like Griswold. Kriz. Krizanowski. That's how I'm going to remember you now, Kara. Like, Clark W. Griswold. <laughs> okay, next I got this sweet little oil lamp. It's, um, I don't have a magnet, but I don't know that that's, it's brass looking on the bottom. I don't know that it is brass. It's got this hobnail green glass. It does have the wick. This, this green and this green don't necessarily match. Let me check something real quick. It doesn't. So this oil lamp is $16. I thought it had a label on it. And it's number 40. $16. Number 40. For the green oil lamp. I see LEA. LEA. All righty. Are we ready to keep going? Oh, I love these. These are great because you can use them in a display or you can actually use them on your counter to put your coffee mugs because it's a mug tree. And this mug will be available during the sale. But look, see, you hang your mugs from it. But it's a cute little kitschy mug and if you collect mugs you can hang some fun mugs from it and it's this really pretty green it's made in japan it's metal it is 16 dollars, and it is number two 16 dollars, number two for the green metal mug tree you, you or you could hang jewelry from it you could you could it could be multi-purpose or ornaments yes max okay i see Nettie. Gosh, that's a good idea. You can hang ornaments from it. Why do I keep putting these in the wrong bowls? Hi, Linda, Michigan. Oh, that's kind of a coincidence. Do you guys remember shirt tails? Shirt tails. This is the nutty squirrel. He's nutty but nice. And this is Hallmark, and it's dated... Oh, I don't know. It's not dated, but it's from the 80s because that's when the shirt tails were. Isn't that pretty or cute? This mug is $10 and it's number four. Nutty but nice. Shirt tails, number four. Oh. gabrielle -ish. Oh, was someone hidden? Who got hidden? I know it happens by mistake. So if you get hidden, I'm sorry that you got hidden. But it is a mis it's it, it 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 can happen. Oh. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Michelle, it was a mistake. Kitty cat did it. Okay, I have an afghan. This is going to be an offer up. I'm going to start it at $20. It's a beautiful, look at that, a granny square with the seafoam green. It is a 57 by 40. 57 by 40. 
So it's, you know, like a throw blanket size. It's in excellent condition. We're starting this at $20. I love this green color. I can just see this like on the back of a porch swing. Wouldn't that be pretty? I love that green. Ooh, I'm disappearing. Okay. I see Rosemary Preston at $25. This is bigger than a lap blanket. It's bigger than a lap blanket. It's just a really pretty color. Um. Kara. Kara is at $35. It's so, I know, isn't this so pretty, Amanda? Because a lot of times you see these granny square quilts and they're they're lined in black. Liz Retro's found some granny squares. I think she's made, Liz made a granny square afghan. She found some starts and I think she finished it or she is finishing it. Okay, Mare is at 40. Tammy, it is 57 by 40. I measured it this time, Tammy. I measured. I don't normally measure, but I did. Okay, Kara is out. Mare is at 40. Thank you, Kara. It does. It has all the colors. I mean, they even added this little Christmassy colored one, but it still is cool. 56. Well, I, 57 by 40, 40. That's what I got, but I probably measured it wrong. Okay, Barb is out. So where are we at? Mayor is at 40. I'm gonna start counting down. $40 going once. $40 going twice. And sold to Mayor Hart for $40. It's very nice. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you guys for bidding and saying that you're out because it does, it is very helpful. Okay. Now we have this I had in my window ledge. Don't know who made it, but it's a little, it's just a little uh, jug that's perfect for a little air plant. I love this color green. It is $6 and it's number 61. No chips or cracks. $6, number 61. Virginia, 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 you're gonna to go to Virginia's. Now Virginia, you could put a little shot of something in here. before you put an airplane in it, if that's what you're gonna do. Ooh, everybody liked you, little fella. You're popular. Okay, I think that this is lovely. I'm honestly, it's, it's a very thin and thin, delicate glass. It's ribbed and it's got these flowers that had cold paint on them, but the cold paint ha has seen better days. It's just this really pretty, very thin uh, vase. It's not marked. I think that it's really nice. Just put a little, some roses in here. Would be really pretty. Or in the spring, you could put, you know, put some pussy willows in here with maybe with a pink, some pink flowers. I think that would be pretty. This is $16 and it is number 38. It is not flashed. It is actually green glass. It is actually green glass. $16, number 38. Sure, no, yeah. Shirley Pearl. Yeah, I think it's really pretty too. I held on to this for a while thinking that I was gonna keep it and put it out with Saint, my St. Patrick's Day stuff, but I just, I never did. I mean, I still have my St. Patrick's Day stuff out, but obviously, but all right. Uh, I posted this on Instagram and a lot of people liked it because I think we can all relate to this sentiment. The kitchen is closed be, be, Kitchen is closed because of illness. The, I am sick of cooking. This is needlepoint. Now, the frame is kind of icky. It's just plastic with this gold trim. So, if you win this, I can take it out of the frame and save you a lot of money on shipping. So, 
you can let me know. I, I'm happy to send it in the frame, in the glass, but if you don't want it, I can take it out. It's got a lot of tape. It's been taped to a board on here, but I think it just slides in this frame. So this is $25 and it is number one. $25, number one. Side Street Market. You'll have to let me know if you want the frame. I know, I think it's cool. And I like the color. It's very like mod with that yellow and orange and green. And it, it's true. The, the sentiment is true. I hate making a grocery list. Because I never, I never know what to make. Because now we have dad who wants to eat at dinner at four o'clock because he goes to bed so early. Mark doesn't get home from work till close to six. And Jaden's very picky. So I get a little frustrated. Okay, I really love this. It is a little tulip pot. I kind of want to say, not quite sure, but I kind of want to say that this might be McCoy. I put my little, my little faux succulent in it. But it is this really pretty, like a celadon green tulip vase. It's got the um, attached bottom to it. It is a little dirty. It does have a little hairline right there. But I can't, and it has a lot of crazing, which I love. But I love this color. This is great. And... This is $16 and it's number 52. I, we used to get HelloFresh. I used to get HelloFresh and Jada never liked half the things. If it was just Mark and I, I would do Gabrielle-ish. I got you. If it was just Mark and I, I would do it again because we kind of had fun making it together. But it just, and then like a lot of the stuff was going bad. A lot of the, the fresh parts, like the vegetables were going bad. Because I didn't make them quick enough. Okay. Next, I got this little Prixie standing up planter. I got a little faux succulent in him, too. I sold one of these last, a couple weeks ago, and I think in a little bit of a different color way. Um, I want to say that this is probably um, American Bisque or Shawnee. I don't know. But it's got a little Prixie on it and a white shirt. He's standing in front of a tree with his little pink pants on. He's happy. Or it could be a leprechaun. You can pretend. Well, we're going to pretend you're a leprechaun today. And it is $18 and it's number 50. $18, number 50. Yeah, oh, no, but Emma said she wrote it down. About the frame. Okay, Nettie. Nettie got you number 50. Emma will, Emma will write it down on my list. Alright, next we have a green handled tin. Again, this is that green color that I love. Look at this. It's like a little biscuit tin. It doesn't stink when you open it up. It's nice on the inside. It's got green and gold with fancy pants on it. That little girl swinging. It has a design on both sides. These just look so neat up on a, on a cabinet. It just adds a little bit of a pop of color. This is $15. It's lightweight. $15, number 30. $15, number 30. I see Florida Mischief Maker. Are you the Florida Mischief Maker? Do you cause mischief? Oh, sometimes when I make my cards, I'm like, what? What, what is that? But they're iron shakers. They're cute. They've got these little sunflowers or daisies. But look, I like the P and the S in green. They do not have their stoppers. But how cute are these to put in your kitchen display for spring and summer? 
I love that green color. I caused mischief in Florida. <laughs> oh, I remember spring break. I, I think I did too. In college. Okay. No, I'm just an old lady. <laughs> but your name is clever. All right. These are $14 and they're number 57. $14, number 57 for the little iron salt and pepper shakers. Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. Emma, when you're in college, you don't do odd bad things when you go on spring break. But Emma, when we would go to college, we would get spring break. Just saying. They don't get spring break now. They're all a little salty about it too. A little salty about it. Okay. Oh, I love this. Now, this is something else that I that I almost kept as well. And that is our little friend, the leprechaun. Oh, uh, Pamela, the iron. What is an iron? The dryer. That's the iron in my house, at least for me. The garland. No, I didn't. I actually bought this at an antique mall. I bought it at, um, at Riverside. No. Yeah, Riverside antiques that I go to a lot and a lady in the antique booth she makes these she makes it a lot of she at she makes assemblages and stuff too but I loved it I thought it'd be so pretty for spring and summer on my door so I got it from there so she was a local lady that made it and I love it too thank you Danny oh well I wanted to get a tattoo on my honeymoon when we went to Mexico and Mark would not let me I didn't get a tattoo and Emma and I got a tattoo together a couple years ago. Mine says stay weird and Emma's tattoo is up here on her arm and it says live a little in my handwriting because Emma's a little bit of a mammal, which is okay. But I always tell her she can go out and live a little. You know, quit being a mammal. Live a little. I know it's hard to do right now, but and live, live a little, not a lot. A little, a little bit more. All right, anyway, this tubby little leprechaun. Now, when I was teaching, the leprechauns would visit the classroom. And when the kids were out at recess and the classroom would be torn apart, the chairs would all, tables would be knocked over. Things were down from the bulletin boards. All the toys were out. They were mischief makers. Talk about mischief makers. And the kids loved it. They would be so mad too. They would come in from recess and they would be like, Mrs. Pate, those leprechauns, they tore apart our classroom. It was so If you have small children, have the leprechauns come and visit you. I mean, it does cause a little bit of a complex, I think, sometimes. So don't make the leprechauns be like scary. <laughs> because then they think the leprechauns are going to come and visit them as they sleep and tear apart their room. But, you know, do it, do it classy. Okay. I would love to get one if you can get more. I'll, I'll see. I'm going to go out there this weekend, Danny. I'll try to, I'll see if she has any more. So this little leprechaun has a gold coin. So this is a, it says, someone's painted this at home. And, and I can tell you who painted it. Carol. Carol Harris painted it in 1974. There is a little chip underneath his cloak right there. But he's kind of pastel-y, kind of watercolor looking. And that's, I, he's just a friendly guy. He is $20 and he's number 36. <laughs> My two leprechauns already. Nicole, you should have the leprechaun visit. And the, you, your kids will get so mad. Especially, I, I think I see Shirley Pearl. Shirley's going to win free shipping too. I just know it. Shirley's going to have a big box. She's going to win the free shipping. But that's okay, Shirley. Listen. Especially at, right after they've cleaned something. <laughs> because then you're like, you kind of get a little bit of satisfaction. Because you know that they mess up everything that you've cleaned. And so they're like, the leprechauns! <laughs> they get so mad at the leprechauns. Well, the, the kids clean it up. That's why they get mad. They're like, we gotta, we got to clean up the, after that leprechaun. You, so you kind of make it. Kind of make it a little bit of a game. You know when you make games, when you make play into games or cleaning up into games, they, they, they're they all for that. And then they start figuring it out. So do it while you can. All right, next I've got a little cup and saucer. 
This is Royal J Underglaze. Well, it's not a cup and saucer. It's actually a creamer in a saucer, but they match. And so I'm selling them together. But look at how cute that looks. Look at how cute that looks with a little uh, a succulent in it. It's green. It's like a uh, transfer wear. And here's a little creamer. I think that it's pretty. It is $14 for the set. And it's number 16. $14 for the set, and it's number 16. Oh, I guess I should have showed you the bottom. Okay, I see Pamela Hammett. Pamela Hammett. Ooh, we're, we're almost done, Emma. Your favorite leprechaun movie is The Luck of the Irish with Ty Ooh, Tyrone Power. Yeah, the leprechaun movie of today no that's creepy but tyrone power mm. okay next i have this frosted now randy is this a compote or is this a candy dish i'm gonna say this is a candy dish i don't know who made it but it's satin glass so you can like rub it all over your face because it feels good when you rub it. it feels good when you rub it it does i love satin glass i love the feel of it <sighs> It just is a, it's a calming, it's almost like a worry stone, you know, it's like a worry stone. Do a blue sale. I already did a blue sale. My next sale next week is going to be Easter, an Easter sale. If I could get inside of this and sit and rub myself all over, because I, I love the way that it feels. Oh, I don't think it does, Virginia. No, unfortunately it doesn't glow. But it's very pretty. It's very pretty. This is, <laughs> Randy, this is $20. There's no chips or flaws on it. It's in great shape. Uh, $20, and it is green satin glass. Green satin glass. Tiger, I don't have a lot of purple. Trust me, I look for purple every time I go out. And I, it's, purple's hard to find. It's $20, and it's number 48. Number 48. And you can take this home and you can rub it all over yourself. And you'll see what I mean. Okay. Linda Clark. Linda Clark. So Linda. Feel it up when you get when you get it, because it feels good. You probably already know that. Uh, uh, satin glass just feels good. All right, I thought this was fitting to put in this sale. It's this weeping gold, gold, gold. You see that thing under the handle? Huh? I see that thing under the handle. I don't see anything, Virginia. We, no. What was in your coffee? Um, I don't know, but it's not very good. I'm not even drinking the rest. I'm really, I'm looking at my Mountain Dew over there. And I'm, I, I'm very much trapped in. I, ha oh, under the stove handle. This, this, I sold all this stuff. Virginia, you stepped away. I sold the stuff that's underneath that. Um, I, I'm, I'm trapped. I have a rolling cart in front of me and I'm looking at my Mountain Dew and I'm like, you're next. Mountain Dew. Okay, so this is Weeping Gold, and it kind of looks like it's wet and sweating. It's a really pretty double vase. Well, it's not a double vase, but, I mean, if you put, like, a long stem rose in it, it's one vase, but it would kind of go off into different directions. This is $16, and it's number 54. I have a pink satin glass set that I'm going to sell next week. Kara. Kara Krizanowski. Krizanowski. I hope that I'm saying that right because if I'm not, that's what I'm forever, it's forever going to be. Mark is going shopping. <sighs> he deserves that. He deserves to go shopping because he's had to put up with a lot lately. All right. Plastic Friggy. Now, this is a glass. When I bought this, I know a lot of people were like, ooh, the little glass Friggy. This isn't glass, it's plastic. It's 
plastic. Now, it's weird because it's kind of concave, but it, I, I think that it's supposed to be that way. See how it's sort of like a bean shape on that side and a bean shape on this side? It says it's unbreakable, lustro wear. Uh, so you can kind of see the label, which if, if I were to keep this, I'd leave that on there because I like to leave things on there, but you could so use this, you know, to display things on to add a little bit of height. But it's plastic. It is uh, $14 and it's number 24. $14, number 24. I see Stephanie Vintage Freak 32. Stephanie. Yeah, my stove is not for sale. Because at some point, I'm going to put that in my kitchen. When I get my kitchen done. But we all know what I have to pay for first. We won't mention it. I was going to get a new kitchen, but no. Nope. Nope. Not yet. Okay, next I got this cute little... Ooh, get this sticker off of it. The price tag's still on there. I'm going to have to take that off real quick. This is a cute little restaurant wear bowl. See the little green design on it? A little berry bowl. And it's Shenango China. You, uh, The price tag is still on there a little bit. You can kind of see. Little berry bowl. This is eight dollars and it's number 33. Wait, you fail. What? You fell. Oh, she fell asleep. I was like, hey, you fell? Randy girl, she fell asleep. Okay, Pamela. Pamela Hammett. You got it. I'm, I keep touching the screen, and I know that you're probably driving everybody crazy with this screen going wobbly. All right, I have, there's two things left, kids. Two things left. And this is my friend. Now, I have just a couple more pieces. My Graham's mom, Cindy, um, she's given me this uh, chalkware to sell for her. So this is a little green swan. It's Miller Studios, 1979. I think it's really pretty with the green in there. It does not have the hanger on the back. You can fix that or you can just, you know, I just, you know, put it up on a shelf and lean it. But I liked the green. Oh, I didn't realize this, but it does have, is that? Yeah, it's got a little chip right there. So this is $10. And it's number eight. I have a monitor. I should try it. I'm afraid that it'll be, because usually it's really lag on your TV. $10, number eight. Marty. Marty Herford. Did I say that right, Marty? Or Horford. Horford. <sighs> Okay, naps are good. I've never been a nap taker. If I take a nap during the day, I'm like, it just messes me up. I'm like, I'm all out of sync. All right, the last thing, and I think my batteries have ran out. Yes, they have. Is this crackle glass, this does not glow. See, it's crackly. It looks like a big Jeff egg, but it's glass. And it is hand blown. It's got a Pontel mark there on the bottom. It's just cool. Now I had, but they're not working. I had some fairy lights in there. So that would look nice in here. You could put a candle in here. You could put, well, you could put whatever you wanted to in here. Anything. Yeah, I can't nap either. I never could. Um, oh, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> I put Michelle to sleep. I have a friend of mine that says she watches my videos when she can't sleep. So it will help put her to sleep. I mean, she was, she meant that in a good way, but I'm like, oh, that's fine. You leave my videos on all night long, all night long. Those watch hours are good. So this is $20 and it is number 
five. $20, number five. What, uh, Kara, Kara Grzanowski. No, Krzanowski. I'm almost right every time. Um, I, when I bought this, I was hoping that it that it was a glowy that it was glowy glass, but it it's not. But you can still light it up and it and it look really nice. All right, so I'm getting ready to do the drawing, and the drawing is wait, what is that? Oh, I didn't take this off. Oh, you know what? I have. Let me show this before I do the drawing, just in case someone wants to buy this. This was the very first thing that I had shown and it didn't sell. And it is a duck paint by number. It does have a, uh, a crack in the canvas right there. You can see it on the back too. I, if you don't want the frame, because the frame is not great, but listen, if you want the frame, I'll send it to you, but you can save on shipping and I can take it out of the frame. Um, but I was going to do this as a, um, offer up, but I'm just gonna say it's $20, number 14, the green mallard ducks, $20, number 14. I like this duck's face. What's going on? It looks like he's sticking out his tongue. What about the moon and star? I already sold that, Emma. I already sold that, Emma. I didn't sell these, though. The set of two green dishes. Oh, Lena. Lena, gotcha, girlfriend. Lena wants number 14. Lena McCord. For $20. I'll put Lena, put your number in. Lena, you have to let me know if you want the frame or not. I didn't sell these. I think I might've been a little too ambitious on the price. So I'm gonna say you get both of them for $20 and make them $10 each. No frame. Okay, Emma, can you write down no frame? So these are matching, matching little green dish set. $20, number 35. You get the both of them, $20, number 35. 35. What did Marty say? My married name was, oh gosh, I'm not even going to, Old Zanuski. Old Miss Sexy. <laughs> $20, number 35. Okay. So now I'm going to stir up the pot. To give away, you will get a sticker, which these are available for $4. No more small jugs. I will add some. I've got a lot of little, uh, little air plant things. All right. I am going to pick the number. The number that wins free shipping Please don't be Shirley Pearl. I'm just kidding, Shirley. Whoever won number 30, and that was the green 10. Who won the green 10, Emma? Oh, Danny's having a sale right after my sale. So Danny, the niche lady, she's having her sale it's right after mine. So leave mine and go over to Danny's. Florida Mischief Maker. You win free shipping and a sticker. You are the winner today, Florida Mischief Maker. Danny's is not green, but Danny still has great things. So go on over to Danny's sale. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Oh, give the free shipping to the person who bought... No, no, you don't want free shipping. Listen, you got some stuff. You got some stuff. You win free shipping. There's no, there's no tradesies. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so very much for coming to the sale. 
Um, and Michelle is having her sale on Friday. These, I, I know more people are having the sales, but these are just the ones that I always say, the ones that are in my brain. Michelle's having her sale tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Michelle Comfy Cozy Living. Um, when do you invoice? Oh, yes. Emma, write down for Kara. She wants a sticker. If you want a sticker, you, they're $4. You can just send me an email about it, too. Um, uh, and... Uh, uh, Jeffrey is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Jeffrey's back. Tell your friends. Jeffrey's having his sale Friday night at 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. And Alex's sale is Sunday. Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Her sale is Sunday at 1 o'clock. So thank you guys so, so much. Danny sales right now. So go over to Danny's. Go to Danny's. I think Trusty Huckster's sale is on Thursday. There's a count. I, I, it's impossible for me to remember all of them because there's a lot of that. There's a lot. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And I will see you guys when I see you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Emma Girl.